Recording a session as a team or with your peers is a fantastic way to share a video. However, it can pose a few potential hiccups which I'm going to help you get on top of in this video. After some extensive research and testing, I've come up with a really fantastic way to make a collaborative video that has great quality. We can do this by making use of Camtasia Recorder and Microsoft Teams. Preparation is key when it comes to any collaborative work. The first step, we're going to make sure that we have chosen who is going to be producing the video. This person is most likely to have the fastest computer as there's going to be a lot of intensive CPU applications running at the time of recording such as the screen recording software and in any applications that you're going to be working on collaboratively in your video. The producer is also most likely to be producing the final cut at the end of the session. Once you have chosen your producer, you then need to make sure that they have all of the relevant files such as presentations and documents and applications open that you'll be needing to record your video. With all that ready, let's begin setting up Camtasia Recorder. With Camtasia Recorder open, Let's make sure that we have the correct resolution and aspect ratio set, as well as the frame rate. The screen I'm going to be working on collaboratively is going to be my main desktop screen, which is a 1920 by 1080p resolution. I'm also going to check my frame rate by going to Tools and Options, clicking on the Inputs tab and checking that I have 60 frames per second. With Camtasia Recorder set up, let's move on to Microsoft Teams. We are going to use a Microsoft Teams meeting to invite our collaborative partner into our call. You can use the Meet Now button under the calendar to get started straight away. Here we can set our webcam and our audio settings. For this we're going to use computer audio and our default webcam. Let's click Join Now. We can begin by adding our participants into our meeting. I'm going to invite Fraser Beadle into this meeting. With Fraser in the chat, we now need to share our screen collaboratively by clicking the share content button in our Teams meeting. And then selecting the screen that we'll be using to share all of our content. The next step is to move your mouse to the top of the screen Click the drop down where it says give control and select the person you would like to give control to. In this case, I'm going to choose Fraser Beadle. And here I am. Hello, everyone. So here I now can share a presentation and everything I do with my mouse is going to be shared on the recording. So I could, for example, open a PowerPoint presentation and show you my great presentation. And then once I've finished that, I can go back to the screen and maybe open up a Power App and start demonstrating some Power App work. I highly recommend turning on the Include System Audio button, which will allow Fraser to hear any audio sounds that come from my computer to make collaborative work easy. At this point, you're almost ready to begin recording. It's worth checking at this point that your Teams meeting speakers are set to your default system audio by clicking the three dots and checking this is your default settings. This works in conjunction with Camtasia picking up the system audio so you can hear the other person in the video talking. Hello, and here's my sound. You can see it popping up there. Before getting into your recording, do a test recording to make sure everything is working as expected. With that done, you can now hit the record button in Camtasia and begin your collaborative recording. Here's a quick tip when making your collaborative screen recordings. Bear in mind, Microsoft Teams shows both mouse on your desktop display with a picture of who is controlling each mouse. So when you're not working on something with somebody and you're waiting for them to finish their section of video, remember to move your mouse out of the way to avoid any overlapping. Also, try and keep your mouse movements to a minimum as this can be very distracting to anybody who's watching. So I hope this is going to help you produce some awesome collaborative sessions and I'll see you again in another video.